Hello everyone, it's Gornext, and I want to make an introduction to the channel. It's very important since I have figured out what the goal is, not just for everyone, but for me uh, specifically as well. What is the uh, definition of spawned, what I'm trying to work on, what am I programming as a game engine, but now it's going to be revealed to you like the full form of it and why I have started it as a game engine. Now I would call it the Unity Source, the source of information. Because I got very inspired to like figure out how do I just put information. All I wanted to do is just put information. And I never do anything for money. I'm never influenced with social pressure in any way. This is why I wanted a very, a very low uh, quality job. I'm not searching for anything too big, which has too many people that may be able to relate to me and talk me out of what am I doing or just mock me for what I'm do am I doing and so far since I have figured out what my goal is the best thing people can do is question it and maybe see some flaws in it but I'm not sure they can actually change uh, what I believe to be the main thing to strive for for any, any, any single person set up their life goal so I have identified it in the day two where I release a video about PewDiePie that communication is how people get partners in the first place and if you want a partner for your life which would be the, the biggest love you can handle basically the most love you can have for a person is a partner for your life but how do you do that without having a meaning of life itself so if you don't have that then then you can't have the person like that and if basically I'm saying that such relationship have never existed nobody had a partner uh, and so without this uh, communication we have also the rich and poor the inequality between people we cannot understand each other without a common goal we don't have anything to stand on so that's that should be our goal basically that's what I'm saying that's that communication putting things uh, together should be our goal now that we can actually sustain ourselves now that we have enough resources uh, seemingly like if there's overpopulation we just have one child for a while if there's something wrong like we can we can figure out a way around it we are smart enough we have survived for so long we're getting a threat of getting a lack of resources in some ways running out of certain resources perhaps but the biggest threat is that again we might not be able to communicate at some point that something might happen Right, we may, may run out of something. So this should be our goal. Set up the basics. Uh, make sure that everyone's lives are fair. That no one is born rich and just continues to be rich. Continues the same direction that their parents took. And doesn't look back into the rest of the population. Or someone is poor and has no access to information that would allow him to get opportunities to not be poor anymore that's the whole fucking point of communication is sharing information how to appreciate other people and how to appreciate yourself for the abilities that you have um, not to just let people mock you and become poor just because of social pressure this is what happens right people become greedy they start creating social pressure and they think they, they try to convince people 
that they don't have opportunities because they don't have something that they have but b behind all of this there's just inequality of knowledge right knowledge is everything that a person can have a brain right it's a brain and a body is all the person can have and all the abilities that they can store is right in the same place that's what we are born with and it's not different for any person so yeah it's a pretty serious topic and it's a pretty serious idea of spawned being the unity source and I hope I'm smart enough for that because I have been able to come up with the idea in general as many people wouldn't be able to I would see resource-based economy idea to distribute resources fine that's great there's free market saying that um, money does a good job in uh, trading you know works but how do you accelerate this trade how do you properly manage resources without just you know how do you eliminate government in the first place which somehow took place and and it's uh, it always takes place the system always creates government how do you uh, go around it and instead of eliminating government itself you have to kind of create the source the self controlled system uh, and that's what free market would really dislike about resource based economy say that you cannot create a uh, this this source this government of everything that will manage everything obviously you can't it's a combination of two ideas where you have money to distribute things you uh, set people their amount of value that they have but the most important part is evaluating people themselves is evaluating knowledge that they put into the system is just communicated about value in general and information uh, unity source is also very important in communication because if you want to share an idea if you are coming up with some kind of cool idea you first have to check if that idea is unique now creating ideas you have to be creative step out of the system then you try to get back into the system right and then check but first you have to be outside of the system to come up with unique ideas or you just play around you just have fun with the system you see something unique and you might want to share it and that's where you come back to unity source check if your information is unique and if it is then you are upgrading the source congratulations you are doing some good job and you should be rewarded for that otherwise if you need information if you're looking for information unity source is uh, the output as well not just the input uh, so it will give you information and it's it's basically a connection right if you upload a video and you want to views what you actually want is for your information to be uh, recognized for what it is and if you're PewDiePie that sits on the top of the throne uh, that is running out of ideas he's actually running out of value to share and his again the same problem that I've analyzed on the previous video he has too much power he has to figure out how to get partners how to get uh, sources from elsewhere obviously one person cannot just sit on the top of the throne forever he grows too much and he has to split up figure out where other sources are of information but that's what we eventually expect from everything that grows eventually it has to become this source and Minecraft has done the same thing Facebook and YouTube has all been the platforms for this community growth into this trying to be a communication source but haven't been really successful uh, 
again once the community splits up and sees that uh, it's not it's not really valuable uh, just like how lately YouTube has been showing its cracks in the system it's just horrible the most important part for me obviously is just to be as open as possible and give as much uh, as many ideas that I come up with, just all the beliefs that I have, just be as honest as possible. So everyone can uh, question me, question everything that I I believe in. Make sure that I I am open to your ideas, whatever your unique ideas are. If they are game changing for me, if they're supposed to change my perspective. Uh, if you don't accept and it's very important for you to uh, change my mind as well being the underdog I get the I, I get the benefit of people not caring about me but at the same time people who recognize the value of meaning of life well if, if this aligns if if this is what you defined, not just entertainment, but every form of entertainment is communication, not just uh, just for fun, but there are stuff for fun, like games that create a story for you, that at some point you consume so much where you have something to tell, and then you will want to communicate again, then you will want to be a part of this uh, goal. You will have this goal eventually. Um, people want to forget things, let go of things, just to make sure they don't hit this boundary where they cannot communicate anymore, because they know it's you know hurtful. It's like it's really difficult to talk with other people about certain things. It's just how it is, and this should be the goal. It shouldn't be shied away from, and it, if people can recognize it it would be very very good now how can you actually be a part of this and how can you help me is also very important now f for now spawned is my own creation I can only share the idea I can only excite you with expectations and show you the progress but until the system itself doesn't allow input from the outside there's nothing I can do right until I develop the system to the point where there is input just like you could make a Minecraft map that would be a good input for information in fact 3d space probably allows for a very good information management uh, right now I'm working on voxel editor so once that's done we I will be able to actually show how much easier it is to manage things instead of using sprites and flat surfaces you can you know explore things in a 3d space like Minecraft already show that games have already showed how 3d space is so amazing in giving information and experiences itself as well and just you can create maps you can do whatever so as well I just I'm, I'm curious how much better it is to see these 3d symbols not just 2d symbols but 3d symbols and how they can be representing characters or how can they be animated we all have seen uh, how spinning a coin makes such a big difference of how you perceive the coin uh, in Sonic I believe that's where we get the animation uh, very first coin spinning but that's that's amazing right how animation is defining characters and all these symbols is a very important part it's like what what it does <laughs> yeah my mind just opens up like holy shit that's exactly what it is you just look at the animation and you kind of understand what it what it's supposed to do what the thing is representing 
So what is easy to do animation with? Definitely not sprites. And even if you can do animation with sprites, which is, you can just move the sprite around, you kind of really rotate it in a certain direction. There are plenty of limitations on that as well. It's just, ugh. And sprite is the simplest form that we can actually do stuff, we can draw things, and it's basically, it's being used very, very often right now. It's just the go-to thing. But once, w when I get the taste of Minecraft, I'm like, yeah, we kind of like voxels a little bit more, and then we can also do animation, so that's something for the future to look up to. And now here's the the kicker, I believe. Um, there has been a lot of things, uh, like when I said rich and poor, there has been a lot of th information that has been accessed by certain people and they say this is how it is this is how it works and how do you test that how can you believe in it right how can you believe the earth is round I certainly believe it's flat there was more evidence for me to believe it, it it's flat that that's a fun funny topic to research so flat earth if anyone wants to see how far away science is from actually proving things from actually giving you the experience which is the only way you can believe if you can experience it i can say i kind of i kind of believe in god because i know how system works how how governments work how control systems work and basically unity source may just be the same as God is to real life like we live in a real life and someone could be the source of it right that's that's the whole fucking point although the unity source is not the source of anything except communication and information but every single big thing has to have its own source if you want to manage it so you can say it's it's the government after all such information source will become the government eventually it will manage resources in general it makes sh it has to make sure that people are are not s slaves are not following orders but they are free and satisfied uh, their needs are satisfied fully which one of them is freedom to do what you want instead of doing what <clears throat> what other people telling you to do and naturally if you let people do what they want they will actually provide more value <coughs> because they know what they know so you just let them do things uh, just to make sure that they're not doing any negative influence on the system and the system can actually sustain that that's it that's all you make sure of and that's what information has to be organized until we end understand what what the fuck is going on and for now we're just gonna have to deal with Facebook YouTube all these different platforms trying to do this multitasking but it it's not gonna work in the long in the long run we already see you know how do we organize these videos how do we organize the fact that certain people have to be heard certain people have to be toned down and split apart and if you don't have ideas PewDiePie then just get the fuck out of here you know we have to put pressure on them we have to do a lot of stuff and people don't have power in these platforms there are not many tools and not many opportunities that's where the games come from the game background the games are uh, supposed to give you as many tools as possible as much influence as possible and it's much easier to start 
in the form of a game and build a community that way instead of trying to make a social media or something. Social media is like a desperate way of doing things, a desperate way of recording and putting content out there, but it's not going to be managed in any way because people are not going to have control, people are not going to play with social media. Uh, and if people don't play with it, they will not put care, they will just, you know, not care. And it's not going to grow that fast. That's why Minecraft grown super fast. People were playing with it. That's the whole fucking point. So, I hope you guys get the general idea, which is ridiculously big. I have no idea how many times you would have to rewatch the video to understand anything. But I will leave these notes, the seven week notes in the descriptions. I will expand on a lot of things as well. Please ask me questions. Please try to push me away from the goal as much as possible, which I will intend to uh, protect and intend to follow from now on. This should be like the thing because it's going to take a long time until I actually get there until I actually get spawned into the position where you can actually play with it, right? Play with it! Alright, I'm excited as much as um, everyone else should be, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I, I'm, I'm trying to say with that. I'm just excited. I mean, everyone should be excited about the fact that maybe someday we actually might be able to understand each other. Holy shit, what is that?